Cunningham established himself as the top pick this year, joining Marcus Smart, Kevin Duran, and Michael Beasley as the only players to win Big 12 Player of the Year and Freshman of the Year honors in the same season. Cunningham was taken by the Detroit Pistons after just one year in college, and he is already one of the most highly anticipated rookies in the league. However, there is still so much more we don't know about him, yet in today's video, we are going to be looking at one of the most interesting facts that you probably didn't know about Cade Cunningham. So be sure to stick around until the end of the video to find out some interesting facts about the first overall pick of 2021, Cade Parker Cunningham. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss a video. 10. He was coached by his own brother. Cade Cunningham grew up in Arlington, Texas. His brother Kanan Cunningham was a Division I basketball player for SMU, and after graduating from SMU, he went to Poland to play professionally for one season. When he returned, he was Cade's biggest mentor and coach. Kanan, who played center at SMU, saw that Cade should start focusing on point guard the way the game was going, so he made him into a point guard. Thus, Cade began his transformation to the point guard position, where he excelled to get a scholarship to Oklahoma State for one season before being drafted first overall by the Pistons. 9. Cade is a vegan There are very few vegan NBA players currently playing, and Cade is one of them. Back in August, Cade spoke with ESPN about what he does to maximize his athletic ability, revealing that he went vegan in high school to experiment with how this dietary change would impact his performance. Initially, Cade decided to adopt the plant-based diet as a test, but the positive results inspired him to make the change permanent. Cunningham decided to take his veganism to the next step after years of plant-based eating. The basketball star is sponsoring Just Eggs Mung Bean-based vegan egg replacement. 8. The second in Oklahoma State history to be a first-team All-American Cade Cunningham is only the second player in the entire history of the Oklahoma State University to get selected as a first-team All-American. The last Oklahoma State player to do so was Bob Curlin way back in the mid-1940s. After 20 points, 6 rebounds and 4 assists while shooting 44 from the field, 40 from 3, and 85 from the free throw, along with 2 steals and 1 block a game, helped him get the otter. Cunningham's 20 points a night also made him just the third cowboy in the school's history to score 20 points a game over a season. 7. He represented his country before going to the NBA Cade Cunningham was already representing his national team before going to the NBA. Cunningham played for the United States in the 2019 FIBA Under-19 World Cup in Greece. In seven games, he averaged 11.7 points, 5.7 assists, and 4.9 rebounds per game, helping his team win the gold medal. In the finals, Cunningham led all scorers with 21 points, along with seven rebounds and seven assists in a 93-79 win over Mali. 6. Youngest player in history to tally 25 points Cade made a bit of history on the 15th of last month with a career performance in the Detroit Pistons' loss to the Sacramento Kings. Cunningham recorded a career high of 25 points, 8 rebounds, 8 assists, and 2 steals during the 129-107 loss. He went 10 of 20 from the field, including 5 of 11 from 3-point land, in 35 minutes to work for his best outing of the season. With the performance, Cunningham became the youngest player in NBA history to tally at least 25 points, 8 rebounds, and 8 assists with 3-pointers in a game at 20 years 51 days. He topped LeBron James, who achieved this feat at 20 years 100 days. He is the first Pistons rookie to reach those numbers in a game. 5. He was phenomenal during high school Now, this is probably common knowledge to most considering he was drafted to the NBA but he was still incredible throughout his four years there. In 2020, Cunningham was awarded for his stellar play on the court by being named the Naismith Prep Player of the Year, and because of this, he was the unanimous number one recruit out of high school and was listed at five stars. Cade was also thrown onto the McDonald's All-American squad because of his dominance on the court. He started out this insane high school run over at Bowie High School in his hometown of Arlington, Texas. However, he didn't spend his full four years there. Instead, he transferred over to Montverde Academy in Florida. And this is when his play really took a massive jump and he began to reel in all those awards. 4. Cade has a daughter Cade has a daughter named Riley, and she was born in 2018 while Cade was playing his high school senior season at Montverde Academy in Florida. 
In a conference call during 2021's March Madness tournament, the player recalled that it wasn't easy being so far away from his daughter while in Florida. Riley lives in Texas, where she splits her time with her own mother and with Kate's parents. Riley was one of the biggest reasons why Cade ended up at Oklahoma State in November of 2019, knowing that the trip home to his daughter would now be a lot more manageable. 3. Cade's Weaknesses Despite being the number one overall pick in the NBA draft, Cade has admitted that he has a couple of flaws he needs to work on. He appeared on JJ Reddick's podcast during the offseason, and JJ asked him what he felt were his biggest weaknesses. Cade took some time to think about his answer before listing two of them. The first was his defense, but not on ball defense, rather off ball defense. He said his goal is to be constantly locked in on the court even if his matchup is nowhere near the basketball. He moved on to the second weakness, which he feels is his turnovers. A lot of people have critiqued Cade when it comes to his turnovers, mostly because he averaged four of them a game during his college season. However, he had a 29.1% usage rate that year at Oklahoma State, which is likely the cause of those numbers. Assuming he isn't the only member of Detroit touching the basketball offensively this upcoming season, there is no doubt that he can clean those numbers up. Cade said that he has been working on getting tighter handles while also trying to be more decisive in his decision making. 2. Only the second five-star recruit to commit to Oklahoma State University At the time of his decision to join Oklahoma State, Cunningham was a five-star recruit who had been approached by teams like Duke and North Carolina. Regardless, he stuck to his convictions and stayed down south, where he got to be the lone superstar on an emerging Oklahoma State squad. The last five-star recruit to do so was Marcus Smart in 2012. As you can imagine, his freshman year of college was extremely successful as he averaged 20.1 points per game, as well as 6.2 rebounds and 3.5 assists. These stats were good enough to make him an NCAA Freshman Player of the Year, as well as an All-American First Team member. 1. Biggest Strength Cade believes his biggest strength is his ability to elevate his teammates. Yep, we just talked about what Cade feels is his biggest weakness, so it's only right now to talk about his biggest strengths. As a player, Cunningham's personality truly showed the way he answered this question. Many people love to talk about a part of their game that they find the best, but Cade opted to talk about his impact on the team instead. You can tell that all the fame and respect he's garnered around the world has not gotten to him at all. For somebody that's set up to be the franchise point guard and a leader for the Pistons, being a team player is precisely what you are looking for. So, guys, that's it for today's video, and let me know in the comments below on what you think Cade's future will be and would he be able to make it to the All-Star team in the future or not. See you guys in the next one, and peace out.